So continuing on with the increment type of inputs, I want to look at the rotary switches next. So here we have the left MDI knob, which has three values, off, night, and day. Uh, and so for this, I actually want to show the text of the um, selection. So for this, let's grab the incremental input with space for text above here. And let's look up the MDI component. So here it is, the left MDI written selection knob. So this is the positive rotation, negative rotation. And we see it's a range of 0 to 0 0.2. Uh, so this means with the increment value of 0.1, there are three possible values. Uh, so we can import this to the command and the title text change. So in setting this up, I actually found out a found a bug in the DCS export script. Um, which was preventing this from changing. And I'll show that since it's probably useful to see. So the uh, F18C Hornet uh, Lua script um, right here has the MDI brightness. And these are all the values that it exports. Um, and this is the precision and format uh, of that output. So you see for the brightness control knob and um, the the contrast control knob, it's doing two decimal places of F for float. But for the brightness selector knob, which should, should be 0 0.0, 0 0.1, or 0.2, it's actually using D, which is an integer. So this should actually be, um, we can just set it to 0.2F, um, although it just needs 0 0.1. So this, this will give two decimal places of a float now instead of here. Uh, and it also looks like this guy is the same. So let me save that. And uh, in order to reset it, um, we'll have to quit out of here. And then uh, it always refreshes when a mission is restarted. So uh, you don't need to do a full shutdown of DCS. So now we draw on, now we see two decimal places here. Uh, so um, what we can do is this is currently set to a range 0, 0 0.2. Uh, and if we try to press it, nothing will happen because we're at the full cycle. Let's try negative 0 0.1. And that will set it down there. So that's that's good. Um, I'll switch it back. Um, so we cannot turn on cycling, so it goes through all three. Uh, and the display is resetting now. And um, so as was discussed in the title text uh, video, we can just set these to actual text values. Um, so I'll just do that really quick. Oh, whoops. And since I had the two digits of precision, I added accidentally. Uh, these need to be exact matching. So we can do that, and we can make this a bit smaller. So that's good. Um, but yeah, so that's an example of how to do a rotary switch. Um, with discrete values here. You can do positive or negative, and you can cycle if you want. A similar thing can be done with the ADF switch, and I'll just do quickly an example of that. Um, so we can look this up. Uh, so you see a range negative 1 to 1, and click value of 1. So Let's do this, and if you just want to cycle through the three values, um, this can be useful, and you probably want a different image or something here. Uh, but as it is now, increment value one, a set, allow cycling to beginning, and try press this. And now we see it cycles through all three. Um, so any 
rotary dials, rotary switches, or switches themselves um, can be incremented through um, using these incremental input buttons.